Hello from Australia, it's Karen Grant from Vintage Soul Journal Creations again. I've been gone for a little while because I've been busily creating um, a number of mini journals and I just wanted to do a flip through of each of them. This may take a little while but I'm going to be as quick as I possibly can because they're only mini journals and I just wanted to show you I'm really excited about um, these because I've made many of them using um, recycled materials and uh, beautiful recycled doilies and, and laces and um, yeah so I just want to show you through them. This one here is one of my latest. Look at this gorgeous lace. I, I purchased a dress at the Salvos and I thought who on earth would wear such a dress <laughs> but when I realised all the lace and the satin involved in this dress. I, I bought it and I think it was only about $15 and I've got many, many meters of this beautiful lace here and this gorgeous satin as well. So I thought I would use it in my upcoming journals. Um, I, it's a little pocket there as well and there's a pocket under here. As many of these journals don't have a lot of ephemera in them. I've just been really creating the journals more so than any tags. I have put a few in each of them but um, I think that's all I'm going to do because I want to leave room for your creativity uh, when you purchase them. Isn't she adorable? Look at that gorgeous face. I've put some beautiful, I've put her, set her on a um, lovely doily that I hand dyed and um, just threaded some <laughs> seam binding in through there and attached a couple of uh, beads on the on the end here so that's just a little bit of fanciness uh, this also is material that came from I think it was some kind of a, a vintage pillow <laughs> pillow slip but let's open her up um, I love the first page here and I'm going to hang on to it as much as I can um, this one I pulled out of a Bow Jest original <laughs> book it's just so fragile but I wanted to use it because I just love the the tone of the age there and I've painted some violets on there just in keeping with the theme of the color of the book and on the tags that I've made I've also stitched some of the material onto the top and painted the violet as well and that's just a little pocket on the other side of the tag for anything that might need to go in there the other tag is very similar and I've attached a little bit of scrap lace to that side just to make it a little bit more fancy and again another hand painted violet on there. I just love mixing different crafts together and because I am a painter I can do that and I'm very blessed to be able to just make them a little bit more beautiful uh, with some extra bits and pieces. I've put two signatures in this one as you can see here, there's just two. I've made plenty of room for writing because that's particularly what this journal is about and I love her. She's my main theme photo on my website at Vintage Style Journal Creations and again some of this gorgeous lace from the um, dress that I <laughs> cut to pieces. Uh, Here's some, all the pages in here are tea stain pages, so I tea stain them and then I, I bake them to dry them and sometimes I iron them, sometimes I don't, it just depends on how the pages turn out. In this case I didn't iron them and I've actually put a little frame on there just in case anyone wants to put a picture of some sort in there, I think that would look really gorgeous. Again another frame here. As I said, these are pretty plain. I haven't haven't done a lot to the pages apart from put some frames, uh, which doesn't mean you need to put a picture there. Obviously, you can do what you like with them. But um, yeah, anyway, another tag here, and either one in this this one, and a spot for another one. In the middle of the signatures, I've actually added some little hearts just at the ends of the cotton once I've sewn them in. It just keeps the cotton from unravelling but also adds a, a special little touch to the, the page. Uh, see I'm getting a bit close here, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, just really mirrored uh, the end of the signature there. I've left quite a gap here and that's purposeful because I just feel that sometimes there's nowhere for a pen. Uh, to go or a pencil and also when you're turning the pages it's quite often really nice to have a gap 
in the middle just so that you've got some room to write without having to hold the pages back. Isn't she gorgeous, this little girl? Again, the same lace. It's the same sort of signature here as the other one. Just coming through, they're all just the simple pages. Not much um, printing in this particular signature. Didn't want them exactly the same, but I wanted them very similar, it's just in keeping with, um, to tie them together better. I'm just going to put this down. <coughs> Again, I've hand painted a violet bunch there and, and put a pocket on the back there. They're not meant to be perfect, they're meant to be vintage, so that's why they look a little bit untidy. I've purposely done that. I feel everything that's too tidy often looks, yeah, just too tidy. Vintage stuff is old and typically, and um, it should look old and, and a little bit worn. So I don't want, want them to be totally ratty, but um, just, yeah, want them to look a little bit special. Again, the, the back end of the book is similar to the front end. Uh, another pocket from the Beau Jest book and two lovely old looking <laughs> tags for that one there. I'll just pop them back in. And the back of the book has a pocket. Didn't do much there, just put a pocket there. Um, a little bit of unusual sewing there. So that's that one. And uh, she's my, I think she's Lady Violet or something. <laughs> I've called her on, on my Etsy shop. Uh, she is available in my Etsy shop. And I'm not sure how much I put on her, probably $30, but it's well worth it. Took me quite a while to do, but I'm really happy with that. Uh, the tassel here is just, again, some seam binding with the uh, material throughout and a lovely uh, bead, which is, came off a vintage bead uh, set. So, yeah, hope you like that one. I've got a few, so hang in there with me. <laughs> This is another one of uh, my lovely mini journals. And again, I think she might be priced at um, $30 also. But this is just a gorgeous uh, vintage uh, doily. And I've used the beautiful pattern here to pop her photo in. She's, that's sewn on. Um, and the back of it is just beautiful linen from a, I think it was a linen um, placemat and I've got quite a few of these so I'll be incorporating them throughout many of my journals and again just a small little tassel at the side there. Don't need it to be any more fancy than that because she's just really quite beautiful on her own. I'm just going to put it down so you can get a better look at it. Just open it up. This is a little bit different. Um, I've made the signatures but I've placed them inside lace pockets so that they can be removed. I haven't gone overboard with the um, ephemera because I feel it's it's good for you to, to make the things that you love too. But I've put enough in here to get you started. <laughs> so um, this background here, I'm not sure where this paper came from but I think it's just out of a small um, card of paper that you can buy in um, Spotlight or Kaiser Craft. And this lace here again is a beautiful vintage find uh, from one of the op shops and it came in a really large five metre roll so it was really gorgeous and yeah well let's open this one up again the same and all of these are the same throughout uh, my mini journals uh, of this size at least. Some of them are smaller than this and don't have a, an excessive amount of writing room, but um, she's very much the same, all sewn in. Um, some of the, the cards are very simple, but elegant, I think. All tea stained. I've got some beautiful markings on that one. Oops. Again, oh, this one. I love this one. I've been making some of these tags. This, this is just a, a normal set of tags that I bought through um, Officeworks and they're, they're luggage tags. So all I did was to tea stain them. You can see the background of there. And, and I've um, put some texture paste on the actual tags with a stencil and then painted over it and just to highlight it a little bit more. 
and this little dangly bead here came from a set of earrings that I purchased that had quite a number of these on them and I thought oh yes I'll use those in my journal so um, I've put a few of these throughout my journals and I might do a um, just a show and tell I suppose show how to make them but I'm sure it's pretty simple so most of you probably know how to make it anyway and I just thought it gave it a lovely effect um, you can see some gold in there I'm, I'm hoping that the camera's showing you that anyway I'll put that back in okay this is just another simple tag that I've put on some vintage ribbon uh, that I found as obviously all my finds come from op shops and even the lace there came from the op shop uh, and I just love this woman she's obviously very well known and photographed by many or used by many in your journals this is awesome I love this this is it came from a book of um, tickets so what I've done is I've just well it's not really a ticket I think it was an invoice book and I've just sewn it sewn it together I put a little pocket under here as well to slip something in and there's a pocket there with another one of my lovely tags that have been uh, I suppose embossed with um, the texture paste and that can be lifted up and written under there so it's not taking up too much of a page of writing um, Just a little lace pocket here. This was some leftover uh, from another journal that I've made. I just thought it'd be nice. Look at that gorgeous staining on there. So that was just another little piece that I popped in there for writing. I've got a couple of these in this particular journal. Um, oh yeah, the other side. Okay, there's just some more paper there. More tea stained paper there. It's quite a lot of writing surface in this this side. This is a coffee stained journal card. I just buy those in packs of a hundred, I think, at um, places like Spotlight. Sell them. They're not too cheap either, but um, I use them sparingly. <laughs> Sometimes I make lovely uh, vintage um, book cards out of them, just so that they can be used um, in a special way rather than. You know the the expense of them just being thrown away by writing on them. Uh, I'd like to make them look beautiful. Again, another woman. All my journals are female woman oriented, so um, I'm not sexist or misogynist. <laughs> I just love the vintage women, and so I use them a lot. And they're all royalty free images that you can get online. Again, another one of those lovely tags there. You see the shimmer on there. This pocket's just made out of a piece of, um, it looks like coffee stone paper, that one. So that's just that side. The other side, I don't think I put any ephemera in this one, but it, again, it's just mostly a writing journal. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so that's that one. And just some dangles hanging out there but I'll just pop her over there the next one is similar same sort of doily different female and I'll just double check if it's the same I'm not going to probably go through it too much yeah looks the same uh, probably some of the ephemera is a little bit different I'll put a longer bookmark in there um, yes yeah, so I won't go through that one again that's for sale on Etsy and I'll show it it's Vintage Style Journaler on Etsy, that's the name of my shop. Now these ones, look, I'll show you the whole pile of them, they're gorgeous. I've got a, got a stack of these. This is what I've been doing, so that's why I haven't been online very much lately. These are all my gorgeous journals that I've been making. Love this one. And that one too. They're all just so beautiful. Got a whole pile of them here. <laughs> I'm, don't fret, I'm not going to take you through them all. These are some of my earlier journals. They're very much smaller and much cheaper to purchase on Etsy. Um, inside this one, for instance, there's only a couple of pages to write on. So there's, um, I think there's six on each side. And the only ephemera in that one is just those couple of little tags. 
but um, they're made out of vintage. Um, oh, there's some more tags in there. So back there. They're made out of vintage wallpaper. So that's that one. This other one is very similar. Just quickly show you. Easy just to pop in your purse uh, if you want something special to pull out and show off with. <laughs> uh, lovely embossed tag on that one. So they're all coffee or tea stained paper and beautiful vintage laces. This one here, put a pocket on the front. Another beautiful journal tag there on the uh, vintage ribbon. I love this. So I um, found a necklace with a few of these on it. So I thought I'll just chop it up and use it for my journals as you do. And I'll put a little mini journal in here. This is quite cute. It's just a, a little vinyl, uh, well, the wallpaper journal. So it's just a, a small little lot of tea stained paper. I just thought that was a little bit special. And this paper I found years ago but haven't actually used it. But I thought I'll oh, just coffee stain that and just use it because it's a little bit fancier than I typically use. But it just seems to work in this journal. Again, another one of those lovely um, invoices with another beautiful tag in there. Everything I make is either my own design as far as um, any digital downloads that I've created. Um, I don't tend to use them a lot because they do take up a lot of printing ink and um, but I, I tend to do a lot of staining and um, really mostly vintage looking rather than a more modern look. Even with some of the digital downloads I, I feel they they look lovely but they can often look really um, I suppose a forced type of vintage look whereas these just I think they look much better. Anyway, my opinion. Um, again, some more writing paper. It's mostly writing paper in here and I've put another lovely tag in the back there. So that's that one. I love this one. I think she's gorgeous. And the back has got a little bit of a pocket so you could probably put a pen in there. Uh, let's look at this one. She's really beautiful. What I've done is I've put her picture on and then I've just sewn this gorgeous lace over the top of the picture. And these are one of my bookmarks that I've made and coffee, coffee stained this one. Look at that. That's awesome. And I usually try to put a little bit of bling without over overstepping the bling because sometimes that can also not look quite as vintage. Um, and this lace here. No, I've got quite a lot of this lace and that I've tea stained that. And again, just one of those lovely um, tags in there. This is just a, a journal tag that you can buy at, um, well, I don't know if they call them tags, they're journal cards that you can buy at Spotlight in a packet of 100. And I've coffee stained this one and just put it in there for writing on. Again, that lovely paper and uh, my beautiful invoice. <laughs> again, another tag. Um, so they're all similar looking but not the same just similar again another tag of that gorgeous woman I've just got, an, got a couple of gigs in this one another tag and another tag in the back there now these are not expensive they're listed on Etsy but they're not expensive at all I think I've put them on for Oh, I don't know, it could be $15 or something. It's not very, very much to pay for all the beauty that's in them. This one looks a little bit more bulky, so I think I might have put a little bit more in there. And she's got a gorgeous tassel there as well. Another tag in the front. And all this lace is vintage and all the bling that comes off it is vintage from um, old junk jewellery. And again, this is a vinyl wallpaper, which is actually vintage. Very difficult to find this kind of thing today. And I'm always looking online for rolls of this. And I did happen across a couple of rolls of, uh, oh, they're just like wall freezers, but they're a little bit colorful. I'm not sure how I'm gonna use them yet, but they're just, um, there's another one of those tags. Another 
And I'll just quickly go through because you've seen the others, so they're similar. This one's a little bit more um, loud with the, the spray that I've put on it, but I just love it. And this lace here came, I've cut it up into a variety of pieces because it came with butterflies on the top. And, but I think it's just really, it works in this folder here. Again, a um, vintage doily cut in two. Another bookmark with this beautiful lace that came through a swap in one of the groups that I'm in on, on Facebook. Again, another one of these beautiful lady tags. Oh, and she's my most beautiful little girl that I use occasionally in my journals. Um, I've obviously made her a little bit fancy here by putting this beautiful um, piece on there. Now that came also through a, a I, think I won, a, I won a, um, a giveaway on Facebook and I was mostly blessed when I actually came to get this because it was just a, a group of bits and pieces of lace that this lady had sent me and I just thought it worked with her there. And again I've put some vellum over the top there just to tone down the black and white image. Um, and the image actually came from a friend of mine. She gave me a whole pile of papers and I thought, oh, what am I going to do with those? And what I did was I shrunk them down and scanned them and, and uh, kept her. I thought she was just such a, a beautiful look on her face. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Again, more notebook paper in this one. Just attached to the back of the little girl there. And this gorgeous lace, you can see the just the preciousness of that, all the beauty in that. These are one of my little handmade bits uh, from leftover scraps. I don't like to throw much away. Bit of a bower bird, and I've one of my hand painted uh, journal tabs that I do. They're painted on both sides, so you can start on either side of the tab there. And that's her. So she's stunning, I think. You're still with me? Been through a bit. <laughs> This one here. I haven't actually put up any that I've, um, I'm tooting as far as uh, my creating goes because I just haven't had time. I work full time and and the most I can do is create at the moment. Perhaps I should video what I'm doing as I'm doing it. But look at that. That's just off some junk jewellery. I thought oh, that'll make a beautiful um, drop for one of my journals. Again another bookmark. I won't pull it out. It's similar to the others with the vintage bling on it. This is a button. I thought I cut off the back of it and just stuck it on there because I just thought it was so beautiful. I love the texture in that. And again another piece of cut up vintage lace. This green lace here I thought really suited this particular look. Um, that was just a plain uh, off-white colour that I've um, dyed, hand dyed, came out a gorgeous green. And I've got some more colour in this one as you can see. I've got some sari silk on the top of this tag and oh, there you go, surprise, another face. And so she's just sewn on to there and again um, some more hand dyed lace on that one. But again, you're seeing same old, same old here, I think. But um, each of them are, are unique. They do have similar things in them, but they are a new, unique little piece on their own. So I don't tend to duplicate exactly the same. I like to make them similar. But um, yeah, again, you've got some of the butterflies off this lace, as I mentioned earlier in the other little journal. So you can see there's lots of room to write in here and a, a little notebook here, a gorgeous face again on the back there. And that's that one. Look at that, what a surprise on the back of it. Beautiful lace and another tag there for you. Again, take a look on my Etsy store and see if there's anything that you like and um, hopefully there will be something that is specially for you. I'm, I'm a little bit, not lazy, but a little bit forgetful when it comes to posting these in my shop. And, um, but I, yeah, I try to keep the prices low so that um, they're accessible to everybody. And um, I love to give things, so I'm not going to give everything away, but um, 
you know, if you are finding that you would really like something special and it's a bit pricey, I'm happy to negotiate that kind of thing. Don't want anyone missing out on beautiful things to have. Just a bit of, um, oh no, that's a, a, um, a pocket there, an envelope that you can actually uh, put something in. I didn't normally paint the front of these, um, but I didn't obviously paint that one. Um, again, more tags the same. There too. This one's just got some more paper in it there. And I've added a, a journal tag in there and just another way of opening it up. Um, again, the invoice. Now, this is interesting. This is a grey material that I found and I just loved the design on it. It had these all over the material so I bought the material and chopped it up as I usually do and used it in the journal. I've, I've done it to a few but not to many. Again there. So you can see they're mostly for writing these journals and there's a lovely bookmark again with I've run out of this um, beautiful lace so this is probably one of the last ones that I'll have for this particular bookmark. And I've put um, the stamp there from 1 Corinthians 13 on love. Love is patient, love is kind. And yeah, just lovely. Hope you're hanging in there with me. Um, these ones are gorgeous too. I've cut up a doily, as you can see. I've got a couple of those. They're similar, but not the same. But I'll, I'll just do the one of these. So. I don't I think we're going quite long as it is, so I don't want to go too much longer for you. Don't you be bored out of your brain. So just another really over dyed and stained tag. Just I love the way that that came through on the back when it was tea stained. Actually, I think that one's coffee stained. And again, just a notebook inside there. Another tag underneath. Turning it over, I've got my little handmade scrappy mini journal and another lot of um, tea stained paper there. Another tag in the back. So it's a bit of a tag, they're bits of tag journals. And again, you've got the wallpaper on the back and you've got that gorgeous bit of bling at the side there as a tassel. Nearly there. You've been so patient. Please don't forget to leave me a comment or a thumbs up if you like the journals. Um, again, more tags. Lots of um, paper in this one. It's quite a thick one. Some of my hand painted trim that I've used on this little tag here. Again, it's gorgeous goldy colour with a, a cut up vintage pocket there. <laughs> and my favourite lady again with a, I think it's a tag with some of my yeah, some of my rosebud hand painted trim. Again pretty much it's their uniform so they're not um, all over the shop when it comes to appearance I've tried to keep things not perfectly uniform but I've tried to make it so that there's nothing glaring that seems like it's out of place in each of the journals again another beautiful tag with um, some <laughs> exquisite bling I don't think this is a vintage piece though I think you can buy that at um, scrapbooking shops and I think that's probably where I bought that one. And on the back again, you've got a pocket with this one. Okay, so that's her pocket at the front in there as well, if you want to use that. We're nearly there. Look at this. How gorgeous is that? Just really ties in with the, the front piece here. In this one, I've actually put some lace cards as well. <coughs> so I've given a little bit of an extra bit of um, useful stuff hopefully for journalists. Again another notebook that's tea stained. 
lovely lady here another journal lace card just for some extra lace on there oh gee this one's got three in it lucky duck who gets this and some pink so it's a, a little bit of variety there and another another piece of um you know it's quite a few pages in that and another tag there and that's that one and on to the last one here I've got a little bit of bling on the side there. I love these little bulb pins, they're so useful just for putting bits and pieces on and dangling things off your journals. Um, again, very similar inside, a little bit more colourful. Not a lot of bling in this one, not a lot of uh, ephemera actually. It looks like I didn't put much in this one at all for journaling, journal tags. I've mostly just put the the bulk of the journal together without putting the ephemera in it. Um, maybe I just got tired of putting ephemera in everything. And another journal uh, bookmark there, this big chunky bling bit on there. Yeah, so as you can see, each of them are very different, uh, but they're, they're quite unique and, and lovely. So I hope you've enjoyed that. And again, if you have, please give me a thumbs up and feel like subscribing, you can do that. And I can be found on Facebook at Vintage Style Journal Creations. I'm also on Instagram as Vintage Style Journaler, and I have an Etsy shop, Vintage Style Journals. <laughs> so yeah, thanks again for watching.